Good morning, everyone. Welcome to all of you who are joining us here in Silicon Valley, and to everyone who's joining us online from around the world. So that's why I'm so excited today to launch our Instinct MI300X. It's the highest performance accelerator in the world for generative AI. MI300X is actually built on our new CDNA3 data center architecture, and it's optimized for performance and power efficiency. CDNA3 has a lot of new features. It combines a new compute engine. It supports sparsity, the latest data formats, including FP8. It has industry-leading memory capacity and bandwidth, and we're going to talk a lot about memory、uh, today.、Uh, and it's built on the most advanced process technologies and 3D packaging. Now, let's talk about some of the performance and why it's so so great.、Um, for generative AI, memory capacity and bandwidth are really important for performance. If you look at MI300X, we made a very conscious decision to add more flexibility, more memory capacity, and more bandwidth. And what that translates to is 2.4 times more memory capacity and 1.6 times more memory bandwidth than the competition. Now, when you run things like lower precision data types that are widely used in LLMs, the new CDNA3 compute units and memory density actually enable MI300X to deliver 1.3 times more teraflops of FP8 and FP16 performance than the competition. And if you take a look at how we put it together, it's actually pretty amazing.、Uh, we start with four I/O die in the base layer, and what we have on the I/O dies are 256 megabytes of infinity cache and all of the next-gen I/O that you need.、Uh, things like 128-channel HBM3 interfaces, PCIe Gen5 support, our fourth-gen infinity fabric that connects multiple MI300Xs so that we get 896 gigabytes per second. And then we stack eight CDNA3 accelerator chiplets, or XCDs, on top of the I/O die, and that's where we deliver 1.3 petaflops of FP16 and 2.6 petaflops of FP8 performance. And then we connect these 304 compute units with dense through-silicon vias, or TSVs, and that supports up to 17 terabytes per second of bandwidth. And of course, to take advantage of all of this compute, we connect eight stacks of HBM3 for a total of 192 gigabytes of memory at 5.3 terabytes per second of bandwidth. That's a lot of stuff on that chip. <laughs>、um, what you see here is eight MI300X、um, uh, GPUs, and they're connected by our high-performance inf Infinity fabric in an OCP-compliant design. Now. What makes that special? So this board actually drops right into any OCP-compliant design, which is the majority of AI systems today. And we did this for a very deliberate reason. We want to make this as easy as possible for customers to adopt. So you can take out your other board and put in the MI300X Instinct platform. And if you take a look at the specifications,、um, we actually support all of the same connectivity and networking capabilities of our competition. So PCI Gen 5 support for 400 gig Ethernet,、um, that 896 gigabytes per second of total system bandwidth, but all of that is with 2.4 times more memory and 1.3 times more compute server than the competition. So that's really why we call it the most powerful Gen AI system in the world. We architected Rockham to be modular and open source to enable very broad user accessibility. And rapid contribution by the open source community and AI community. Open source and the ecosystem are really integral to our software strategy, and in fact, really, open is, is integral to our overall strategy. This contrasts with CUDA, which is proprietary and closed. Now, the open source community, everybody knows, moves at the speed of light in deploying and proliferating new algorithms, models, tools, and performance enhancements, and we are definitely seeing the benefits of that. In the tremendous ecosystem momentum that we've established, so I'm, I'm really super excited that we'll be shipping Rockham 6 later this month. I'm really proud of what the team has done with this really big release. Rockham 6 has been optimized for Gen AI, particularly large language models, has powerful new features, library optimizations, expanded ecosystem support, and increases performance by factors. It really delivers for AI developers. Rockham 6 supports FP16, BF16, and the new FP8 data pipes for higher performance while reducing both memory and bandwidth needs. We've incorporated advanced graph and kernel optimizations, 
and optimize libraries for improved efficiency. We're shipping state-of-the-art attention algorithms like Flash Attention 2, Page Attention, which are critical for performing LLMs and other models. In 2021, we delivered the MI250, introducing third-generation Infinity architecture. It connected an Epic CPU to the MI250 GPU through a high-speed bus, Infinity Fabric. That allowed the CPU and the GPU to share a coherent memory space and easily trade data back and forth, simplifying programming and speeding up processing. But today, we're taking that concept one step further, really to its logical conclusion. With the fourth generation Infinity architecture bringing the CPU and the GPU together into one package, sharing a unified pool of memory. This is an APU, an accelerated processing unit. And I'm very proud to say that the industry's first data center APU for AI and HPC, the MI300A, began volume production earlier this quarter and is now being built into what we expect to be the world's highest performing system. And let's talk about that performance. 61 teraflops of double precision floating point, FP64, 122 teraflops of single precision. Combined with that 128 gigabytes of HPM3 memory at 5.3 terabytes a second of bandwidth, the capabilities of the MI300A are impressive. And they're impressive too when you compare it to the alternative. When you look at the competition, MI300A has 1.6 times the memory capacity and bandwidth of Hopper. For low precision operations like FP16, the two are at parity in terms of computational performance. But where precision is needed, MI300A delivers 1.8 times the double and single precision FP64 and FP32 floating point performance. So today, I'm very happy to say that we're launching our Hawk Point Ryzen 8040 series mobile processors. And Thank you. Hawkpoint combines all of our industry-leading performance and battery life, and it increases AI tops by 60% compared to the previous generation. So if you just take a look at some of the performance metrics for the Ryzen 8040 series, if you look at the top of the stack, so Ryzen 9 8945, it's actually significantly faster than the competition in many areas, delivering more performance for multi-threaded applications, 1.8x higher frame rates for games, and 1.4x faster performance across content creation applications. A very, very special thank you to all of our partners who joined us today, and thank you all for joining us.